Okay, questions. Okay, Pat, this is from Catherine who says, I've been asked to be a bridesmaid in my sister's wedding. There's only one problem. My sister is gay and she's marrying her partner. I don't know what to do. If I don't agree, our relationship will be ruined. I don't even know if I should attend the wedding, much less be a part of it. That is a very hard decision, but you can't add your... Uh, if you go, what you're doing is saying, I bless this union, and I agree that what you're doing is right. You know, the Bible is so clear about homosexuality, and when you read in what Paul said, he said, wherefore God gave them up. And having given them up, they did evil things with their own bodies, men for men and women with women, and uh, defaming their bodies. Read Romans. Read the book of Romans. This isn't something I came up with. Read it in Romans. So you say, should I go to my sister's wedding? Should I participate? The answer is to tell your sister, look, I love you. I love you. But I cannot participate in a ceremony which is contrary to God's word, mm -hmm. period. And if she doesn't like it, if that breaks the union between you, that's tough luck. You've got to stand for it. I think how you deliver it, as you said, oh, has yeah, everything yeah, to with do love, with how it's received. The yeah. sister has to understand that this isn't something that you can approve of. Yeah. All right. This is Janine who says, I've heard you pray for people in the past and mention specific ailments. Is it possible that those words of knowledge are meant for more than one person? Absolutely. Sometimes many people have the same condition and they say, hey, that was me. Yeah. Well, hey, you know, it's like the Bible. Was it meant for one person? Uh, you know, uh, Luke writes uh, here, Theophilus, I, I want to tell you something. And then that has been used for millions of people for blessings. So. Yeah. No, no, the word of knowledge is for whoever, okay? You know, the other day we were talking about that new show, I think it's on ABC, called GBS, yeah. or G, what is it? Yeah, yeah GBC, right. yeah. GCB, GCB. Okay, this person is saying, this is Jason who says, I, just out of curiosity, what do you think would happen if ABC released a show called Good Muslim? Uh, the head of ABC would probably be assassinated and the studio would be blown up by uh, yeah. radicals. Uh, Christians are very forgiving and they allow stuff to happen. Um, th this, I think, has gone over the edge of blasphemy and, uh, and ridicule. I know it's meant to be funny, yeah. huh. but, but there is something psychologically in that that diminishes the real. Well, you know, the, the thing about in, in, the, in, the, in, in the Southern culture, you know, he's a good Christian. He's a good, she's a good Christian. And uh, they can be backbiting, they can be nasty, mm -hmm. they can be, uh, you know, greedy, and they're, they're good Christians. Uh, and so that's what they were yeah. taking off on. I don't know if... Well, it would be one thing to have a character like that in an ongoing series, but to title something that is a little over the top, Well, I, I mean, it, it, it's not going to play long, I, I don't think. It, it's got a short, short self, uh, shelf life because people won't even acknowledge they're watching it. All right? Okay, this is Ann who asks, please help me understand a quote. Ronald Reagan once said to a group of religious broadcasters, I know how much you respect and strongly support, as I do, the separation of church and state. Why would he have said that? And why would he think that religious broadcasters would agree with separation of church and state? Well, he's got to play to the uh, popular perception uh, that uh, there is a separation. The, the Constitution says nothing about separation of church or state. Uh, the Constitution is very clear. I remember talking to a Supreme Court judge who said to me, it's very clear, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, not separation of church and state. But uh, what was Reagan doing? He was playing to the popular perception. And if you go contrary to that perception, then they're going to beat you up because the people don't understand the Constitution and they don't understand history.